Hi guys, Nick Audi here at AP Elements. Really excited to show you our new solution, Fly. Fly is a migration solution to move from on-premise SharePoint deployment into Office 365. It can support moves from SharePoint 2007, 2010, 2013, and 2016. At Elements, we have a ton of experience with SharePoint migrations. And what's really exciting about this technology is we've employed this experience into the build out. So our entire portfolio of best practices that we've built throughout the years is automated, preset, and pre-configured into this technology. So it creates a very seamless and simple process for you. It's pretty awesome. One of the best things we've noticed with migration software is that a lot of people want to just come in and start migrating from A to B, but there's a lot of uh, work that you need to do before you actually begin that migration. So when you're moving between two different platforms or versions of software, there's going to be features that are unsupported. There's going to be customizations that won't translate into your destination. And so it's absolutely critical prior to doing a migration that you perform some discovery. You can think of it like moving from a house in the suburbs out to an apartment in the city. You have some quote unquote content or belongings that aren't going to fit into the new house. And so you need to filter some junk out. Right. Or perhaps you had custom drapes in the house that isn't going to fit onto the um, windows in your sleek new apartment. So you need to alter the drapes or you need to design and build out new drapes that will be more suitable to your new um, living arrangements. And migration is no different. There's a lot of considerations in moving between these environments. And so we built a pre-migration report as our step one in the interface. And here you can get a general assessment of what's going on in your environment. If I click on, you can see across you know, all, this, all these different features and functionality here. If I click on export detailed report, this is going to give me a ton of information on unsupported features and, and you know, a, a lot of things that you want to look at before you actually just, you know, get locked and loaded and start moving information over. If I click on into uh, my sites here, it's a shortcut into, um, you know, all my, my source sites, my source or my on-premise farm and my Office 365 environment. And what we've done is we've essentially auto configured um, and auto mapped those sites to new locations. So hypothetically, I can just grab the sites that I, that I want to move over or move them all and just migrate them over without having to do a whole um, ton of mapping. Right. So very, very simple there. If you have a more complex scenario or a more complex migration, you would come over to the migration, which would be our, our second step here in the migration process. And it's a drag and drop interface. Right. Very, very simple. I can filter out if I just want to see my sites, perhaps. Right. Or if I just want to drag and drop, maybe I want to bring the Batman, Batmobile over to Penguin here. I, I, I've just created a mapping for my migration. If I have a, a new destination that doesn't exist, I can drag it right here and it'll automatically create that destination. When I come into migrate, as I mentioned, we have a ton of experience. And so what we've done is we've defaulted a policy. We've built those best practices into a default policy. If you have more specific requirements, you have the option, if you'd like, to come in and create your own policy, right? We have user mappings, column mappings, content type mappings. Um, perhaps you want to create some filtering policies. So we can come down maybe to the document level and we can say, hey, I'm going to add some criteria on a document filter that if um, maybe by a certain file extension or documents over a certain size, they don't want to move over. If something hasn't been modified or maybe if something was created years ago or hasn't been accessed in a long time, maybe you don't want to bring that information over. Right, so very, very flexible in terms of the filters that you can set up in your environment. Um, if you want to create a schedule, it's very simple to do. What we'll do is we'll automatically make that um, uh, those migrations incremental. So it's going to be very light on your servers and very light on your environment. And then once you're completed, this is the part that helps you rest at night, right? This is the part that helps to give you a little bit of comfort. You can run a report of your migration status. So what's completed? Has anything finished with exception? Have you had any jobs? You know, what's in the queue to be migrated in a little bit? Um, and then you can come over and do an analysis on, on some of these jobs as well. If you did have some failures, maybe you missed a, a feature that was unsupported or a customization that didn't translate very well. So three pieces, all equally important to getting the job done. I thank you again for giving me a little bit of time to show you our solution. Very excited about it. Very excited to, to talk to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us as soon as possible. To uh, You can visit apelements.com or you can email us at sales at apelements.com. Thanks again and look forward to hearing from you all.